Hi guys, welcome back to the last tutorial in the series Character Rigging Using Script uh, Till now we have created all our joints, oriented and then created the rig for a rig This will be the final tutorial where we will clean up all the unwanted information Right now you can see one circle with some arrows and all the stuff But if you see, it, I can select it just only one click and it's one curve uh, I'll create some new tutorials which shows you how to do this stuff using scripts uh, like a python tip for a day or something else but as of right now you can just use a circle for this one and name it as root curve next thing is that you, st you need to start parenting all your controllers to the root curve so how to do it select your root curve click up arrow because we don't want to select the curve we don't we want to select the top node of the curve so click on up arrow and shift select the curve root curve and parent it next thing if you select your leg curve click up arrow there's nothing is there so that's fine so select these two curves shift select the root curve parent it so right now if i select the root you can move it oh you you see some problem that's fine just hide it next thing these are the two controllers fk echo switch you can select both the fk echo switch or else you can just select one click up arrow there's nothing is there this is the top node so select these two nodes shift select the root and parent it so now you can move it and hide it next thing i'll click open the unbinder stuff this cap i want it when i rotate my neck controller i want this cap to rotate with it there are two things you can do one thing you can uh, parent it and animate it or else you can just create a group node for it so I'll, what i'll do is i'll just create this circle control g modify center pivot okay cap grp node okay with the so i selected the cap grouped itself center pivoted and then with the group node selected shift select the curve and parent it no no sorry sorry rather than parenting it i said that's what we are avoiding we are not we don't want to parent it we'll follow the different process ready i'll go to windows outliner it's not a tough process it's we are using constraints so select the curve okay select the root uh, neck curve and then where is where is the cap 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 so if i select the cap so here so if i the cap group is here so select the curve control hold control and select the cap group and say constraint parent it in options parent options see that maintain offset is on if you don't keep it on this cap will go and align to the pivot of this controller now done now if you select this one so that's fine there is still some problem with weights i didn't wait it i said I, i'm not going to paint the weights that's your job to do it if you get any doubts mail me i'll respond to you with some more information how to work on it okay so right now if you go this one what i'll do is that i'll select the inner of the mouth because i don't want to create one more joints and all the stuff for this tutorial it's done in a facial rig so you can do it in you can continue with the facial rig right now i'll hide it click up arrow selecting this layer hide it and the tongue also i'll put it in this layer and hide it but for the eyes what i do is i select the eyeball left eyeball show polygons okay select the skeleton shift select the eye joint and parent it you need to do the same stuff for the right eye right eyeball turn off the polygons select this control joint and parent it and if you say show all and press six you can always just click turn joints off 
So if I select this one, okay, it's working fine. Now overall, it's clean. If you come back here, select the controller and change it to IK, you got your IK controllers right now if I move. So this is what happening. This is right, this is fine. But let's take, now I don't want it to stick here. I want it to move the, with the root controller. You can always select the curve, left arm controller, click up arrow. You need to, you need to see that you are parenting the group node, not the curve node. Then shift select the curve, parent it. You need to do the same stuff here. Go back to IK, select the IK controller, click up arrow so that you select the group node. Shift select the curve and parent. So now if I select this curve, I can move and do it. Right now you are facing some problems with the pole vectors. So you can just select the pole vector. Check if, if there is any top node is there. So click on up arrow, nothing is there, that's fine. So select the curve, pole vectors, shift select. <coughs> IK controller, this is just a simple curve. I'm not going for the top node. I'm not going, going to parent it to the top node, I'm going to parent it to the hand node. Parent it. Same thing, select this one, shift this one, and parent it. So now if I select the root, I can move it and place it anywhere. I can switch between FK and IK, and still move the whole thing. Now, next thing is start cleaning up all the unwanted attributes. This controller, I want to move it now. You may be asking Ram, I would like to scale my character as per the requirements and all this stuff. Generally, I don't recommend any of my students to work on scaling because whenever you model, you need to model as per the required height value and height ratio. You can't just simply model as per your choice and then start scaling it based on your joints. That is the total wrong process, okay? But still, if you insist, I'll try to work on with some more tutorials and show you. But right now, my character is totally planned as per the real-time aspect ratio, real-time height ratio. So stick to it. That will be the best example I can, best recommendation I can give you. Now, this curve, I'm not going to scale it. I'm not going to hide it. But I'm going to move it. I'm going to rotate it. Okay, so I'll just select all the attributes, scale, X, Y, Z, and visibility, right-click lock and height selected if you just height selected you can still scale it which we don't want to do it now select the two pole vectors pole vectors you got some value here because there is no top node on top of it you can just go to modify freeze transformations it's clean i'm going to move only in, in move axis so i don't need rotate and scale and visibility lock and height select now for the legs these two legs I'm not going to scale but I'm going to move I'm going to rotate so right click only scale and visibility lock and height select okay so you need to clean up all the information let's take for this way I'll just show you on the sway and then I'll pause it and clean up and then I'll show you the result okay but for the sway I'll be just rotating I won't be moving I won't be scaling so select all the translation translation attributes and scale and visibility. Right click, lock and height selected. So right now what I will do is I'll pause for a few minutes and then get back to you. Hi guys, back to the lesson. So if you check here, sway, I just want rotation. Whereas root, I want translation and rotation. Other controllers are all rotations. If you check, everything is rotation is clean. Say this one is rotation. Whereas this FK IK switch, it's only switch. I don't need anything else, so I just say that. Okay, so overall, except this root, all the top nodes are mainly rotations. Okay. Now in fingers, if you want, you can just go here and say that these fingers, these two fingers, they will be rotating only in one axis, that is Z. You can right click and say lock and height selected. You can do all this stuff. But in generally what I left was that I left for the whole R rotation R, Y, Z. Okay. Now if I switch back to IK, here 
this one i'll be moving and be rotating i don't need scale and i don't need visibility but here you need to concentrate because this visibility is linked with linked with our scripts so don't don't lock it so i'll just select scale x y and z right click lock and hide selected but whereas visibility i'll just click here and say right click hide selected that's the only thing now here i'm just going to freeze it and i'm going to only move it so i'll just come here right click lock and hide selected but whereas visibility i'll just come here and say hide selected see right now the pivot is here you can just come back here move your pivot with this and all this stuff that's your choice but right now i can leave it now come back here get back to ik this one freeze the transformations all this values rotation and scale right click hide selected lock and hide but whereas visibility just right click and say hide selected for this controller i want translation rotation i'll hide scale x y z lock and hide selected but whereas visibility i'll just say hide selected okay so right now it's fully neat and clean okay and the other thing is that let's take oh, i want this to change the color i let's go to attribute editor root curve display drawing overwrite enable that's fine okay so we are done with the rigging it's clean see if you check any controller it will allow you the attributes which are which you can animate let's take this one you can do all the stuff whole vector you can just move whole vector you can move this one you can just change it this one you can move rotation okay we forgot this one for this one i don't want to do any stuff as of right now because i can move but rotation nothing is happening so i'll just select rotation all the things lock and hide selected this one hide selected now select this controller that is ik controller lock and hide and hide select we are done save it don't forget to save your work regularly or else you'll die keep in mind work hard and next time if you get any doubts next thing just email to me you can email it to me ram for students I'll get back to you. Hope you enjoy this lesson. Bye.